All right, so it's time to get our export on. We're gonna get all of our images now out of Lightroom and we're gonna export the entire thing at one time. Now, small recommendation is when you set up this export process, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Do this at a moment where you don't need to use your computer because it's gonna take up a lot of resources because we're gonna do all the exporting at one time. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna hit Control A to select all of our images and we're selecting only our flagged images that we're gonna be delivering, all right? These are the print images. These are the ones we're actually gonna use. So let's right click. We're gonna go to Export, Export, and then what we're gonna do is select Print Sized and now we're gonna choose the location of the folder. So check this out, we're gonna hit Choose and now I have this, I believe, on my WIP drive under Production under the Workflow DVD Catalog. There it is, there's our folder that we're selecting. So you select whatever the folder is with the originals and the catalog inside of it. We're gonna export to that folder that you have this entire catalog in. All right, so we hit select folder. It's gonna automatically put it in this subfolder, so that's all we gotta do. We're gonna hit export. We've already renamed everything and everything else is good. Now we're gonna right click again, export, export. Web sized. And now we just go back to this little quick drop menu right here and all we gotta do is select that previous location. So the last location you exported to is gonna be the first one at the top of this list. So that's kinda why we, we do it this way as opposed to exporting to a uh, specific folder or to a choose a folder later basically. Because it makes it a little bit easier, we don't have to select one after we hit export. All right, so we select that again, we hit export. Once again, we're sending our 163 images now to the same folder in a web size format now. Right click again, export, export. We go to screen unstamped. It'd be great if we could write a plugin that would do all this for us in one fail swoop. All right, we're gonna click same thing, same folder. Now it's putting into a different subfolder. We hit export once again. Now at this point, I want you guys to follow along because we're gonna change things up real quick. We're going to turn off this filter and now we're gonna only filter our rejected photos. Okay, so we're only selecting rejects. We're gonna hit Control A to select all photos. We're gonna hit Control Shift R or Command Shift R on a Mac to reset all of the develop settings that might have been applied to these. So it basically will reset them back to where they're at. All right, so if we check in the uh, develop module, we should see that everything should be zeroed out now. We zero everything out so it came, basically there's nothing that's been done to these photos. They came straight from the camera and they're saved out as JPEGs. So that way in the future, if we need to make any adjustments or, or use any of these photos for anything, we have them in their kind of their raw JPEG format directly from the camera and they've been unchanged or unprocessed at all from Lightroom basically. All right, so everything should be reset. I'm gonna go back to grid view. I'm gonna right click now, export, and we're gonna do our final export where we export our rejects. Select the folder, same thing, hit export. All right, now we're gonna let this finish. It's gonna start, so it's gonna do our last process. There's gonna be a total of four operations in progress. It's doing the last one now. And when that finishes, which it probably will take around 20 to 30 minutes on this machine, it could take longer depending on the speed of your machine and the amount of images and everything like that. So again, at this point, you probably wanna come back to your computer after say lunch, go take a break guys, relax a little bit, go out, enjoy the outdoors. Uh, Cause if you're using your computer right now, it's gonna be really kind of jumpy and sluggish. So you can already see my mouse kind of jumping around because all the resources right now are being hogged by Lightroom. All right, so great job everybody. We're gonna go on to the next video. We're gonna show you our exported images and how it looks inside of the final folder and we're gonna complete our archival process.